Okay, let's not waste any more time. Hi, how's it going? Ah. How we doing tonight? Okay, hi, I'm Ryan. Tales of Ahala, Season 3. We're in production. It's stop motion. It's adventure. It's hero scape. It's 3D printed terrain pieces. It's just, it's crazy fun. And we're in production of Season 3. And it's awesome. And yeah, <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> okay, so we're going through some dailies tonight, but before we go through the dailies, I'll be working on them. But first, um, some behind the scenes, you're going to see me animating some of these dailies that I'm about to do. And a little bit uh, more behind the scenes of uh, just going through the set and of me and my assistant. So let's take a look at that and then we'll come right back here. Enjoy! <laughs> I'm gonna let him talk most of the time. <laughs> right? Right. Anyway, thank you for watching this recording and the live stream. We are behind the scenes again in this room. Here. Just show you. Okay. 
Here is the set. And you just saw some of what we did uh, with animating. We have two scenes here, or two basically parts of a scene. And did the first, did most of the first one, I already animated for most of the first one. You saw some video of that, and you're gonna see some video of that. And now working on setting up some close-ups here. Like this was a shot that I just did. And I'm starting to set up a shot here. And what I plan to do is a lot of I'm just, I'm just gonna let him talk. Um My assistant knows things better than I do, I, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's talk about like in the, in the setup of this scene here. Now this this is usually going to be up like this. So what we got to try and do is create the feel of like a claustro claustrophobic cat and mouse hunt because we have one character here. And this is like a big, almost a big reveal against this character here. And those of you who have seen the series know what characters those guys are. Okay, Lieutenant Dan and Croc. So those are the two that are actually going to be facing off. And believe it or not, it is the final fight scene of the season. And so what is going to be happening is... Lieutenant Dan just going to be wandering around trying to find said Karak. And so we have to create like an like almost an illusion that, you know, this is a little bit bigger than what it is. And Lieutenant Dan just going to be going around corners, very close, tight close-up shots um, to add to confusion and get tighter and tighter the more he gets confused and lost and scared. And then there'll be like some type of a uh, dramatic uh, surprise reveal with Karak behind them somehow. So that's what we're going to be working on next. What I was animating earlier that, that you saw in the video just now was Lieutenant Dan and Gimp coming into this area and Karak coming in and trying to hunt them down. And yes, this is this is some spoilers. We are giving some stuff away, but that's okay because you probably want to understand all that's about. And and much of this or some of this scene that I'm talking about is going to be revealed in the teaser trailer and trailer anyway. So what do you got? Ah, this is a 3D printed snow rock. To stick it back down there with a sticky tack. We need to make sure it stays on there. Okay, assistant? Is it good? It's stuck on good, right? Yes. Yes, it's stuck on good. And so, yes, so we're going to be able to edit a teaser trailer very, very soon. As soon as I get this animated, within the next few days of tape, tape, doing this little taping. We'll have these animated, and so probably next time we do a live stream, we'll be able to start editing a teaser trailer, which will be fun, won't it? Won't it, my little assistant? He's still trying to make sure that that um, piece of set is going to stick on there. Set the He's, yeah, he's saying set design is very, very important because we need to keep continuity within our scene. So we need to make sure that that piece of 3D printed rock, uh, ice stone is going to stay where it needs to, where, where it was originally before it, it popped off. Because it's not a permanent piece of the set. It's just something we attach sticky tack to. Anyway. Anyway. 
So we thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Oh. Anything else you gotta say, <laughs> assistant? Wow. Yeah, I know. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there it is. So he's still working on that, and so while well, he continues to work on maintaining the integrity and continuity of the scene or the set, we will say uh, adieu, adios, and hopefully sometime soon we'll be back to give you another exclusive behind the scenes of animating the set of Tales of Ahava. Wow. He's, 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 he's a better speaker than me. First wow. so, he'll, he'll probably leave the way now. Later. Bye. Later. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. And we're going to get going and bye. we're going to continue to work. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Okay, howdy. Glad to see that you guys made it back. Hope you enjoyed that behind the scenes video. Since we did one like last month, I thought, oh, why not do it again? It was fun. This time it was a lot easier. Pre-planned things a little bit so it was easier to do and edit and, and upload. We'll probably do those every once in a while. Should have done them a long time ago, probably, but anyway. So you got to see some of the behind the scenes, some of the animating, or some video of me animating. I know I need to teach some of those techniques sometime down the road. But yeah, and so we'll go through these dailies a little bit and then call it a night. it probably be a little bit of a short live stream, but you know, that is what happens. Anyway. All right, so go through that shot. Uh, okay. And I'm just gonna get them rendered, then we can go through them. Shot six. Yeah. Now what you just saw, you saw me animating, I think three of the five shots I did. And my brain isn't that functional. Work, 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 work. Brain just isn't thinking clearly, and I do have a headache. But the show must go on, the production must go on, so that's what I'm doing. And hopefully you can hear me above the music. I turn the, up, I turn the background music up a little bit more, because I've noticed the last few live streams that it was like a little too low, so hopefully it is fine. I did, let's see, I gotta double check myself, I did, okay, yeah, I, I put that there. Yeah, looks good to me, okay, let's... Let's get this here. So how's everybody doing tonight? And by the way, feel free to leave a comment, even though this is a pre-recorded live stream, as you well know. I do look at the comments, both Twitch and Facebook, and as, and as well, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to leave a comment below as well. Any ideas you might have on uh, future ideas for live streams, you know, something I can do, by all means, please let me know, and I should hit that start exporting thing oh my gosh <laughs> oh yeah like I said I'm, I'm not thinking clearly so I'm glad I kind of did some pre-recorded pre-recording uh, behind the scenes stuff and I, I sincerely hope you enjoyed that it is cool to have my son with me so he can just observe and see and maybe someday he might do the same thing or something similar who knows if he doesn't, it's no big deal, but if he does, it'd be cool. Okay, 
None of these shots should be very long. Like 18 seconds, I think that's one of the longest ones I have. Because there's a little bit of dialogue here. And for when I animated this shot, I didn't have the um the lamp right exactly in front of Lieutenant Dan, so he's a little dark, but eh, no, I'll, I'll work with it. Besides that, it looks fine. But yeah, I'm really looking forward. I'm fairly certain next week that we're going to get started on editing the teaser trailer for Season 3. I have some ideas, and I'm not sure exactly where I'll be at exactly when it comes to editing it next Wednesday. So we might just start just editing the raw footage together, or the sound of the music or something, I don't know. We'll see where I'm at, but we're going to do something. Definitely going to take steps towards it. And then by the end of this January, we should have a teaser trailer to release. And it'll be exciting and fun. It'll be the first bit of stop motion action content for season three. And there'll be a lot more coming as the year continues. All right. And then after we finish the teaser, then we start working on the full trailer, too. That'll take a little bit more time. I want to really finesse it really good. Okay. So we got this. It's just fun to start just talking about it and, and thinking about just everything, you know, finishing up, wrapping up, finally. It's been, what, five years almost? <laughs> It's crazy. Okay, let's get this in here. No, this is Karak, I believe. Yes, there he is. Evil bad guy. Yeah, when it comes to like the animating the shots for the teaser like these aren't shots that are probably going to be in the teaser those shots I'll have to, I'm going to be doing in the next few days and the only reason why I didn't do them first is because it wasn't the first scene because in this particular set there are actually two scenes one scene happens the scene that animating happens before and then we go to another location and then we come back to this location and then the scene happens between uh, Lieutenant Dan and Karak. And again, the brain. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, I... One of these days, I just need to figure out how to sleep for seven hours straight. I don't do that often. Because of my illness, it's... It's not easy. It's, it's hard to actually for me to sleep like two to three hours straight. Usually I'm waking up like every hour, every two hours in, in a night. And you don't get really well rested when you do that. And right now, I mean, that's, that's just where I'm at in my health. I mean, I am feeling better. It's just um, still constantly using the bathroom. <clears throat> so working on that working on it for sure and I have no idea where this headache's coming from but it doesn't help okay so I got this deleted definitely need to be on my A game when we start editing next Wednesday so I should hopefully be a lot fresher alright so we're getting to this one So this is the last shot I did. Okay, add motion 
Traveler. So it's just all ice and snow. Makes kind of for like a very bland visually set, but this is really one of the only sets that is full ice and snow. Like some of these Thalink Tundra sets, they're gonna have like a little bit of color like like castles or trees or wooden plank bridges or something like that. Some something to give a little bit more color than just white and more white or bluish white, you know, so. We'll just have to see what those are in the future. And it just reminds me that I still have a long ways to go. Yep. Okay, let's get this rendered. Okay, and we'll review these and then we will finish. Alright, good, good, good. Just take it back to so we can actually see something. Actually, let's see something here, right? Okay, yeah, I'll just put that there. And put something there, but what we're gonna do is actually just look at these. Okay, so let's go backwards. Let's see here. Open this. With this. Everything looks pretty smooth there. Look, there's actually a little tree right here. A little tree with some snow. I think that looks good. Okay, let's go back. And then he's gonna talk for a second. Bad, not bad. Uh, okay. Now this. Now he's looking around. Lieutenant Dan is looking around. And then, from another angle, basically Lieutenant Dan had to go through the same motions of the scene a few times for this one wide, one kind of medium, one close up. He's got to remember his spots, you know, where he stands. <laughs> yeah, all of those look pretty darn good. So I'm happy, I'm satisfied. So, uh, thank you everybody for looking. If you want to leave your comment and your opinion on how those shots were, by all means, go ahead. And I guess I will just finish the live stream then by saying for those of you who are watching this on the Tales of Hell YouTube page, you've just seen the edited down version of what is, um, I think, almost 30 minutes or 20, 20 to 30 minute long live stream. Um, what you basically saw was just the behind the scenes with me and my son and uh, my fast motion uh, of doing the stop motion very very fast so we can get through like a 10 minute animating segment in like less than a minute or so. Anyway, I'm talking I'm talking too much. Um, but anyway, you, uh, if you want to see me uh, go through these and render them and then comment on them to the full extent go to our conductor productions page or you know, find a link in the description below or there should be something on the screen showing you the full version of this whole live stream so you can get the whole production details there 
And with that, I guess I'll say, hey guys, have a good night, and look forward to seeing you guys next Wednesday when we should be getting started with a teaser. Start, started edit, starting to edit that, and like I said, oh, my brain's not functioning. I'm going to go rest. You guys have a great night, and we will see you guys next week. Later.